all the time. I'm that person who always likes the challenge. I also knew that I would have a good chance of being um, at least in the top two picks in the Philippines. Um, but I had another option, which was to go in a country where you don't know anyone and you haven't been in. To be alone, how the game is ran, it's quite exciting and scary at the same time. And I think that excited me so much more, the fact that it's scary. So I wanted to challenge myself and really see um, how strong I am, not just physically, but mentally as well. Because that's definitely uh, of a challenge than the physical aspect and actually playing in the league. So yeah, that's why I wanted to play in Japan and it's, it's an amazing country. It's been a great time ever since I got here and the people have been great. So I'd say I'm, you know, I made a really, really, really good choice in staying here. I, I, I don't think I can describe it with one um, emotion. I think it's a really good mix of everything, you know. It's the first game of my pro career. I'm playing in Japan uh, with a totally different crowd, you know, um, with a totally different environment. So, and I know that people in the Philippines have been, you know, anticipating the first game. They have been, they've been messaging me, um, wishing me good luck. So I know that uh, my friends and my family are going to be watching that game online as well. So um, with all of that happening, I think what I just basically did was to just shut everything off and just have fun. You know, the fact that you move into a different country is already difficult uh, a lot while I'm, while I'm staying here in Japan. So despite all the difficulties, uh, there's a lot of good. I was also so amazed with the culture about how respectful, how disciplined people in Japan are. I'd say overall it was a great experience teaching me actually uh, a lot while I'm, while I'm staying here in Japan. And that kind of made it so much exciting for me to stay. Well, I think um, the biggest uh, factor um, that helped me overcome everything that I was going through, my friends and my family uh, were there to help me. My teammates, the staff, the management, uh, they were all present uh, with all, all, everything that's been happening or that happened in the past season. And knowing that I'm not alone uh, really is, uh, I think the biggest help for me because I can just call my friends up, call my family up and just tell them like, you know, I'm really sad, like I want to be able to help the team as much as I want to, but I can't. And uh, just having people there, you know, uh, having that feeling uh, that you can talk to anyone is really uh, the biggest thing for me, which is why I was able to overcome it because even though it was tough, the company is really it helps you a lot, basically. Well, with Gatsby, I think it was the perfect um, time uh, to put this phrase about empowering Asia, because uh, everyone's going through a tough time. And being able to do that through basketball, through sports, uh, just you know, giving everyone, or even one person, uh, being able to make a change, uh, even in, in a small way, uh, through the sport with the help of Gatsby and Mandom is really such a big thing for me as a player because it's something that's more than basketball. Uh, this is real life. And with that, when you, make, when you can make a difference in someone's life, especially as an athlete, because uh, as an athlete, it's not about how much money you make or how many achievements you make. It's about how many lives you touch while you're playing basketball. So uh, I'm very happy that I'm part of this family. Uh, GGLC uh, was uh, made. Um, I'm very happy to be part of that. So to be the first uh, team and with uh, while working with Gatsby to have a message, a positive message um, in a trying time like this, just like what I said, I'm just very happy to be a part of that. And I, I would never hesitate to be a part of a whole lot more, you know. It was a crazy experience, you know, just uh, uh, I don't know, there's a lot of things I want to say, just the whole special game with a special jersey, 
Gatsby family is over there watching as well and playing against a very tough team. I was very excited and I was very nervous as well. It was just such a memorable day for me because all of that is uh, directed towards the mission of Mandom uh, and the Gatsby family to empower Asia. So in that game, I really just wanted to give my all to really try and send that message out and to play my hardest. Uh, for both games, we know that we uh, really gave it our all and hopefully that inspired uh, the people who are watching at, at the arena and the people who are watching online as well. Basketball and empowering Asia and the Philippines and, and throughout the design process and it was very fun. Um, it was kind of like a passion project. So a lot of people that came here to see people wearing it and you know, see the messages that they put. It's, it's an amazing feeling. <laughs> I think the number one goal for me next season is to stay healthy, <laughs> uh, but at the same time be able to be in the best shape of my life and to play here uh, way better than how I performed in my first year. And as a team, hopefully we get more wins. To all of our supporters um, with the Neo Phoenix Club and everyone else uh, around Asia and the world. Um, I just want to thank you for all of your support, all of the times where you watch the game, whether it's live or um, on your phone, on the replay, uh, really means a lot as players and everyone around the world. So it's kind of sad to see that happening to um, everyone. Uh, hopefully it's getting better now because the uh, vaccines are starting to go out and people have been getting uh, their shots. So yeah, hopefully everything goes is all over soon so that everyone's gonna proceed with living normally once again. I hope that all of you are staying safe. I know it's very hard uh, at this moment uh, be able to do everything that we want and some of you might be going through it yourselves and having to contract COVID-19 uh, but I just want to tell you that um, stay strong I hope you stay strong talk to everyone talk to your family or your friends um, when you're going through it um, hopefully it helps because that's what I did when I went through it myself um, but yes, uh, I hope everyone is safe and I wish you all the best and I will see you next season.